Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so part four here, and if you watched part three, this is a bit anticlimactic, but um, still let's go forward and maybe you can try and anticipate the answer. So um, since Koch is defined as I have up here, we know we can rewrite our given integral to read e to the x and then plus e to the negative x um, all divided by two and then dx, right? Um, yeah, okay, cool. And so then we can say that this is equal to um, first factor out of one half and then write integral and then it's e to the x um, plus e to the negative x um, dx. And then we can split this here into two integrals as we did in the last video and write one half integral of e to the x dx and then plus one half integral of e to the negative x dx, right? Okay, cool. Now, um, we know that this can in turn be written as one half and the integral there is just e to the x. So one half times e to the x and then um, plus and then we have one half and the integral here is um, negative e to the negative x, right? Okay, cool. And so then we'll have factoring out the one half uh, since both terms have a, a one half in them. Um, we'll get one half times and then it's e to the x and then minus e to the negative x um, and then plus c. I should have written a plus c here. But yeah, you should reckon that what we have is cinch x plus c, right? Okay, cool. Um, all right, so keep watching and uh, in part six we'll do tench. Cool.